Hey guys, it's Najam. In this video I'm gonna review the tri-folding keyboard from Cinda. Now this is a keyboard that you can fold up and put into your jacket pocket and uh, you can take it about with you. I bought this to use with my Samsung Galaxy Fold and also my Android tablet. And as always I'll leave a link in the description if you do want to go pick this up. So let's go over some specifications I know about this keyboard. It has Bluetooth 5.1. It only weighs about 227 grams, which is very very light. Um, as far as the build quality goes, it is built completely out of ABS plastic. And because of that, it is very very light. Now it does have some fabric based clothing on it. So as you can see, to not make it look like an unfinished product, uh, they've put some uh, fabric on it, which is very very nice. And from my experience, the X style keys um, on this keyboard are actually very very nice to type on, unlike some other Bluetooth keyboards that I've got the keys are a bit mushy on them but these are actually pretty tactile as far as the design goes you can see that while it is made fully out of plastic it does fold up and you can see the folding mechanism it looks really really cool and you can see it's not covered up the keyboard also has magnets so when you fold it up um, it does clap into place now one of the things i really like about this keyboard uh, unlike other bluetooth keyboards is that this has full size keys and that makes a big difference when it comes to typing now on my laptop i do have smaller keys and i do use my laptop the most so i know how to type on it but this other bluetooth keyboard that came with an android tablet has the same size keys as my laptop which are not full size keys they're a bit smaller and it's very very hard to type on that now this keyboard does have full size keys and um, it is very very easy to type on. I can type on this keyboard without having to look at it because of the size, it's very nice. It has quite a lot of functions and you can see it has different modes as well for different operating systems. You have iOS, Windows, Android and also MacOS. To put the keyboard into pairing mode, you hold down the function key and press the tab button and the LED on the top of the keyboard that like starts blinking that means it's going into pairing mode and you can connect it with whatever device you want to use now let's talk about the touchpad i do think it is a very very nice size the touchpad can also scroll and also zoom in and out with gestures which is very very cool now if you look at the layout while this is a full size keyboard you can't see that there are some keys that have been squished some they have just made some smaller so that can, they can fold up and they can fit onto the keyboard so this keyboard can fold up and you can put this in your jacket pocket. So I've been taking this to work and using it with my phone to type on and everything and it helps quite a lot. And when it's on the desk, it is a very slim keyboard when it's opened up so it is very very flat. Now there's a really cool feature in this keyboard and that is that it can connect to three devices at the same time. So you can maintain a connection and then switch between the devices using the keyboard functions. And so without having to disconnect, you can use the same keyboard on multiple devices. Now, as far as use case with certain operating systems, I have found that the touchpad on Android is not really like a mouse. Um, the mouse cursor on Android behaves more like a finger or just a touch screen. So it's not very nice. Um, but for Windows and for other desktop operating systems, it works just fine. Now on Android, if you go into the display settings and you'll find an option for navigation bar and um, from there you can hide the keyboard button to remove the black bar that comes at the bottom of the screen when this keyboard is connected. Now this option may not be available on all of the devices, but I am using like a Samsung Galaxy Fold and so it should be available on Samsung devices. Now I can't tell you how long the battery life is on this keyboard, ever since I've got it out I've not really charged it and it seems to be working. The battery inside this is a 210 milliamp hours, and apparently it should last approximately 2 weeks maybe more than that but I haven't really run out of battery just yet. So let's talk about what I like about this keyboard. Number one I do like that it is a folding keyboard and um, it is very very light as well so I can keep it with me in my jacket pocket and I can use it whenever I want. The typing experience on this keyboard and also the way the keys feel is actually very very nice. Now I know some mechanical keyboards are much much better and nicer to type on but for a portable full size keyboard that fits in your pocket I can't complain it feels very very nice to type on. And another thing I like about this keyboard is that unlike other bluetooth keyboards this one has a bigger touchpad. Ok now let's talk about what I dislike about this keyboard. Unfortunately this does not have rubber feet on the bottom so when you're using it on a table it can easily move around on the table and you can't use this keyboard in your lap because it does fold up 
Now one of the features that is missing and I would like to see on this keyboard is backlit keys. This keyboard does not have backlighting. Now another thing I have noticed is that while the touchpad does have the left and the right click buttons, I find it very hard to hold the left click button and also move the cursor around because it seems to have some sort of an issue with the multiple fingers. It works well with gestures but it sometimes has problems with holding the button down and then moving the cursor around. So that is something that can be improved. Now the last thing I don't like about this keyboard is the layout. It's mainly to do with the top key on the corner. You can see that the home button as well as the escape key, they're both on a function layer. And on Android you need both of these. But the escape key only works in Windows mode. And if you're in Android mode, the home button is the function to that key. So you can't use them both at the same time. But on Android you do need them both at the same time because the escape key is back and the home key goes to the home page so that's just a minor drawback i think they could improve on the functions on this keyboard apart from that it's an excellent keyboard and i think i'll be keeping this keyboard because it feels really nice to type on and i can carry around with me so if you guys have any questions ask me in the comment section below thank you guys for watching and uh, i'll see you guys in another video